Hello everyone. Today I thought we would do a what makes this quilt great and I'm going back to what was basics to me at the beginning the thing that I found magical about quilt making and that is uh, going back to my it's okay if you sit on my quilt book that's been around since the 1980s for sure and it is making half square triangles it is the unit of all of these magic that happens when you combine the half square triangle and I remember using graph paper or drafting my own graph paper and you made a right square right triangle in your square like the dark blue and light blue and the combinations were endless but first you have to figure out how to make this half square triangle is what it's called now but back in the day uh, it was called a right square right angle there we go right angle triangle and it is the basis of these points on the stars it is a right angle a 90 degree angle in the corner and then 245 degrees for your triangle nothing fancy you know even nowadays you can achieve this with paper piecing and I use these from time to time and this is uh, triangles on a roll called um, it's so Emma is part of Fat Quarter Shop and you can put two big squares on the back of this you follow the arrows and then you cut it apart and you have a perfect square triangle but I didn't do it that way for many many years but this is a fun little tool I used the method where you take two squares this is tiny you drew a line halfway through then you sewed a quarter inch off of each line and you cut on the pencil line that was the diagonal and then when you were done you had four no you had two <laughs> oh, my math today you had two half square triangles and you square them up always afterwards so this is not about how to do that there are lots of videos out there on how to make a half square triangle I used the method where it's old school draw the dry draw the diagonal so one quarter inch off of the diagonal on your machine and then you got this so I'm going to show a large video clip and stills at the end but what is so fun about this is you can make it be anything you want these little patches to be I decided to showcase some beautiful hand dyed fabric that's from cherry wood fabric I bought at a quilt show you can buy online at their cherry wood hand dyed fabrics I paired it with a light gray and then I did the binding with a really powerful black border and I had time in space on this to quilt all kinds of things so let me show you a, a fun thing if you do a larger square you can do this squealy rose type of thing in the dark colors and in the background I did almost like three leaves and I did that over and over and over again what is so interesting you can see the back with the texture is that when you do something over and over and over again you get this powerful graphic punch of the pattern as well as a focus on the color it is so fun so let me hold this still right here 
when you look at it either it doesn't matter how you turn it either you could turn it where the quilt has the colors up on the upper right or I like this way and I made this a long rectangle horizontally so it will go on my couch you, your eye is drawn to all of these beautiful colors and then you see that fun 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 texture that just repeats itself over and over now when I first started quilting I made all kinds of samplers because I was learning but this particular quilt as easy as it looks to make is deceptively difficult points right so if I hold uh, the quilt up this way you get a view of all of these points going and if I miss a couple your eye goes right to it so that's the one thing about these deceptively minimalist quilts I had to get more skills to be happy with them because just every once in a while I had a wonky point but this quilt is great because it is the foundation half square triangle is the foundation of so many many quilts that you work on in your whole quilting career and this one I made in particular to showcase a collection of fabric because I loved the color and you can do this again with prints you can do it modern looking you can do this baby you can do this particular quilt for um, traditional maybe using calicos or 1930s this is one of the staples of a quick quilt where you just start making half square triangles you can collect them all of the same size right throw them in a drawer wouldn't it be fun to have a scrappy version of it that's all backgrounds are scraps all throughout the whole thing is scraps I've seen it done that way there are lots and lots of quilts out there done with nothing but half square triangles and then you start the next level which is a different quilt but you can combine all of these beautiful half square triangles into a book that has nothing but fun half square triangles I am fascinated with half square triangles this has half square triangles and squares this is half square triangles and squares you start combining them and the possibilities are endless I also would recommend if you're going to do one like I did you have to be very very precise in your piecing and that's where something like triangles on a roll might be helpful so you don't get the jogs in your points not lighting up and you know what I want to show you something here so what some of the points here might look a little clipped I like it that way I like having no border it just comes to your nice end and there is a very simple deceptively simple yet takes a lot of skill to try to get all the points to line up but the fun in this is just working on color and taking a collection and putting it together now which way do you like the half square triangles like this or do you like it this way I like it this way too I'm not pressuring you or anything but anyway what makes this quote great it's something for everybody you can use all kinds of fabric you can make it look any way you could even make these even bigger you could make them smaller you can make it all kinds of color you can it's versatile it's something that you can always have as your go-to you can do it paper piecing you can do it traditionally it doesn't matter whatever your comfort level is on piecing it's one of the go-to's and it does go together 
very quickly. So that's what makes this quilt great. It's just all around a great quilt.